Good morning, Karina. Karina. Good morning, Miss. Good morning. It's just me and you right now. Well, I'm giving the others at least three more minutes to join in. All right. Okay, Miss. All right. Then. All right. Mr. Finish Mark, the, the IA? Yes. Miss, we can know great. Are them bad? No, it's not. I mean, from my perspective on what I mark and based on the um the mark scheme, you would have met most, if not all, of the requirements. Because if you realize the C code, I don't know if you looked at the mark scheme because I did send it in the WhatsApp yes, group. Yes, Miss, but me never, Miss, me not really understand it. Well, I mean, it's for me to understand, but then, um, because it depends on how much work you put out, um, you get certain amount of marks. Yes. So if you realize the programming section is worth 25 marks, and of course, that carries the weight of the project because if you lose that 25 marks you basically fail the sba yes. so i think i said let me see if i remember clear i think it got over 55 out of the 60 though okay yeah so yep yeah. all right so let's go all right so we're at number one and these are some um basic questions so we're supposed to kind of fly through them with ease Yes. All right, so number one, ALU stands for? Arithmetic Logic Unit. All right, so that's a clear giveaway. The brain of the computer system is? CPU. CPU, good. Number three, what does the fifth generation computer have from other generations of computer? All of the above. All of the above. Because if, it, if it's fifth generation, that means everything is everything. advanced. We're using object-oriented programming, advanced programming. We're using scientific code, right? Yeah. All right, so number four, which of the following computer generation uses concepts of artificial intelligence? Fourth generation. Fourth generation, of course, because fourth generation is the latest set of technology. I give an example of artificial intelligence. An example? Yes. Um, artificial intelligence. Right, for example, if you have an iPhone, yes, there's a software that you can use to assist you with doing several tasks. It basically responds to you when you ask it to do something. Um, Siri, Mr. Siri, I talk. Yeah, man, Siri. <laughs> All right, so that's an example. All right, um, we're at number five. When a key is pressed on a keyboard, which standard is used for converting the keystroke into the corresponding bit? A S C I I ASCII, right? All right. Which device is used as the standard pointing device in a graphical user environment? Mouse. Mouse. That's a clear giveaway. Which of the following is a valid storage type? Um. I'm um, a pen drive. Pen drive. All right. So, what is a pen drive? Now, do a quick search and, and, and tell me what you find. This is like a thumb drive. It's like a thumb drive, right? So, when you're doing, because it is going to, the exam is going to be multiple choice. So sometimes you will see the obvious answer. Sometimes you have to use a process of elimination 
right? You will see an odd answer. You're like, but this don't make any sense. So therefore, this must be the answer. Or this makes sense. So this must be the answer. So in this case, you look at CPU. CPU has nothing to do with storage. No. Keyboard has nothing to do with storage. No. Trackball has all. So the next best thing would be the pen drive. Right? Yes. All right. So we're at number eight. The section of the CPU that is responsible for performing mathematical operations. This is the ALU. The ALU. And what does ALU stand for again? Miss Arithmetic Logic Unit. All right. Then. Good. All right. We're at number nine. Any storage device added to computer beyond the, imme beyond the immediately usable main storage is known as? Copy disk. Copy disk. All right. Good. The list of coded instruction is called a computer program. A computer program. Because you write programs. Programs are basically instruction. Because when you were writing your C program, you basically you are writing instruction to be executed, don't you? Mm -hmm. And when you execute that instruction, you actually see the output um, of what you had in mind or had intended to have. So of course, when you are using you tell, when you use put in when you have put in the switch case instruction, you are expecting that when you press one, it will lead you to the first option, don't it? Yes. When you press two, it leads you to the second option. So programs are basically instructions, right? Yes, miss. All right. So I think we we can just go through four sets, four sets for this session. So these are basic IT questions which you guys are supposed to be very familiar with. Awesome. All right, so number one, source code is available to view, modify, and redistribute in? Um, open source. Open source. It has to be, oh, it couldn't be closed source. It couldn't be proprietary or license because if it's license, it can, you can't change or modify it, don't you? Yes. Or if it is owned by somebody else, you can't change or modify it. If it is closed, you cannot change or modify it. So the most obvious one would be open source, mm -hmm. right? So you can go and make modifications to a source code and tweak it and design however you want. So it has to be open source. All right, next one, which of the following is not an input device? A printer. A printer, obvious one. Uh, MS Word is an example of closed source software, true or false? False. False. Why would you say false? Because, um, a closed source. Wait, no, a true. It would have been an open source, miss. No, wait, I think you're confusing yourself. <laughs> so is it true or false? Miss Muda go with true. Muda say it's an open source. Many things say it's our example of one closed source. MS Word is it is. That it is true. It is an example of closed source. All right. Let me tell you why. Are you able to modify um, the software itself? No, miss. Exactly. So that is why it would be a closed source. Oh. So the answer is true. So if it was a software that you can modi modify, then it would be an open source. But in this case, MS Word, when you download it, when you download the, 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 the package, can you modify the software itself? No. Yes. All right, then. So, of course, that will be true. All right, next one. Software required to run the hardware is known as? A device driver. Device driver. Give me an example of how you think the device driver works. It's like, it, it like with a did you serve for 10 of it? 
you're break you're breaking off. I'm not hearing an answer. Did you start for ten lollipop out of the ten? All right, the device? All right, so I see I have three, two more persons. Okay. Did you call Joy someone? and Shakira? Joy? Yes, I'm hearing someone talking in a background, not sure whose background it is. All right, so guys, I've started because we're 22 minutes in. Um, so what we're doing is going through some multiple choice questions and I need for you guys, since you are here to just participate and answer as much as you can. All right. All right. So I'm at, where was I? Number four? Yes, Miss Device Driver. Device. And I was asking you a question to give me an example of how the device driver works. Means like it would it would um like run one software. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, means basically it would run one software. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much that's what it does. For example, if you're putting in a thumb drive in a computer or a laptop for the first time, it may let you know that it is it is installing the what? The drive, right, in order for you to be able to use it, right? Yes. So, yes, that would be the answer, device driver. All right, so we're at number five. All right, let me see now. Shakira? All right, Karina, I'm giving you, I'm giving you a break. Let me see if I can go with Shakira now. Shakira. Yes, miss. All right, so I'm on to you now. So the next couple of questions I'll be asking you. So we're at number five. Which of the following is an application software? Yes. And um, one of the PowerPoint. PowerPoint presentation, yes. Give me give another example. Um um, or reconfigured or deployed as your variant. Or Why do you use to type your letters? Say that again, miss. Why do you use to type your letters or an application? Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word. What would you use if you want to design a, a banner or a brochure? Publisher. Pub so you, 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 you get it now, right? <laughs> All right, pretty much. Those are application software. All right, we're at number six. Which of the following is a system software? System software. Miss Lunix. Lunix. And give me some other examples of system software or operating system software. Windows. Windows. Mm -hmm. Go on. Um, if you're using Apple, what you use? Yeah. So that again, Miss? Apple, Apple devices, which operating uh, system or system software you use? Apple, Miss. No, which operating system do they use on those devices? iOS. iOS. Alright, if I'm using my, um, what do you call these now? These, my, my phone, you know, most people have this kind of phone. Android. Android. And the list goes on, right? Yes. All right, yes. good. All right, so as I, I mentioned to, to Karina earlier on in the, in the class that um, when you're answering multiple choice, sometimes the answers are very obvious. Sometimes they are not. And you have to use a process of elimination. Or you really have to read into the question to pick up some some clues from it, right? Or yes. Clues. All right. So we're at number seven. The programs which are permanent are as permanent as hardware. Stored in RAM is known as. RAM more. 
as a sofa. What did you just say? Miss Miller. D, Miss D. D. What is wrong where? Will you Google it? Hold on. Miss it say is an innovative product startup focusing on improving safety on industrial sites. All right, so I'm going to stop you there. Is that matching um what the question is asking you for? No. Is it? No, miss. All right, then. So that can't be the answer. So let's try again. <laughs> Normally ask for some kind of immunity from fast food before Software, Miss. Software. All right. Research what is software. Yes, Miss Fr Firmware. Oh, the answer is what? Firmware. Yes, Miss. Okay, that is the answer. And the definition is actually what you see here. Firmware, permanent, um, programs that are permanent and is stored on ROM. Read only memory. And you know, read only memory stores permanent instructions. So, yes, it is firmware. Yes. All right, so let me go on to. Joy, can you hear me, Joy? Jo All right, good. All right, next set of questions will be for you. So we're at number eight. You're following with us, right? You hear me clearly? Yes, Miss. All right, then. So we're at. You hear me any better now? Do you see data or straight internet? You hearing me? Joy? Oh, it seems like we're having a connection issue. Hello. Yes, I'm hearing you. Yes, Miss, I'm hearing you now. All right, great. All right, we're at number eight. Which of the following is an invalid type of memory? C. C, that is... C, programming program model read test only memory. All right, then. Number nine, C language were used in dash of computers. The fifth generation, Miss. Fifth generation. I want you to think about that again. See a computer. Oh no, fifth hour we understand. See a like computer with keywords. So Mr. Second or second or third. Third. I would, I would, say, moved forward, um, I would say it is second. Because nowadays um language that they're using are like um Python, Java. And those things, those things would fall under. I me. can't hear you. You hear you heard me now? I'm hearing you. Joy? It seems like the signal is very bad. Alright, so as I was saying, guys, if you're hearing me. Um yes, we're hearing you. Yes. So, yeah, fifth generation, you're looking like at Java, you're looking at, um, what are those other latest languages again? I said one just now and I forgot. Um, but you can look those up. First, second generation and third programming languages. All right. Um, where was I? 
Number 10. Number 10. Which of the following is not a component of a computer system? This is a giveaway, guys. Stepper motor. And what is a stepper motor? I'm look, I mean, that is the straight up odd one out of every answer there. Yes. What is what is stepper motor? Miss, I don't know. Miss a motor. <laughs> like, miss, like, you know, like motor in a fridge and there's something there. I don't know. So I'm asking you to do a research and see if you can actually find what this term means. Same. A stepper motor, also known as a step motor or stepping motor, is a bushless DC electronic motor that divides a full rotation into a number of equal steps. All right, so that is nowhere near what we're doing. So that's the obvious answer, stepper motor. And you know, the four basic components are input devices, output, storage, and process. Those are the four basic components, okay? okay. All right, so we're on to the second set of questions. Joy, are you still there? Are you hearing us? Daddy, yes, yes. All right, seems like we're having a connection issue. All right, like are you hearing me now? Let me go back to you. Which of the following is not an output device? Oh, how much is left? How much is left? Did you answer? Scanner. See, miss. Scanner. That's correct. Some some persons may argue it, but in most cases, yes, yeah, scanner would be the answer. All right. Joystick is used for gaming. You said. Yes, miss. All right. That is correct. Obvious answer. Track ball is an output device, true or false? False. All right, let's see. Indeed, that is false. And you know, track ball is an input device. It's similar to that of a, of a mouse, right? Yes. Um, ALU is, is a part of memory. ALU is a part of memory. You said it's true? Yes, miss. All right, if it's true, let's see. Yes, uh, I it's false. ALU comes on a control um, CPU, which has to do with how instructions are being executed. Arithmetic logic unit. When you're thinking of memory, you think of read only memory, uh, random access memory, EE prom, prom, and the list goes on. Right, so the answer would be false. ALU is not a type of memory or a part of memory. Number five, still on you, Joy. CPU consists of Miss E. E. All of them. Central processing unit consists of all of the above. Remember, first of all, let's let's do the process of elimination now. ROM is read-only memory plus ALU arithmetic logic unit. Does this combination look like um a, that like it's a part of CP the CPU? That's B. Remember, ROM is is memory and alu is C the cpu but it is a combination a part of cpu no all right let's look at it so the answer would be a the alu and the cu arithmetic logic unit and the control unit all right all right, and then so, try for 10 more. And still on you, um, Joy. Dash is volatile memory. Out of the 22, let us see how many. A. 
when you only have electricity? Well, it's uh, if it's when it's is when it's it only has electricity. All right. Um. Yeah. Oh, I looked at Kayla already. All right. Oh, I look for new ones. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you were looking at. Oh, so we're at six. So the answer for six is ra um, RAM, RAM, random access memory, and that is volatile. Okay. So this, All right, so, so th therefore, number seven is what? Non volatile yeah. memory. That is C as in cat. C as in cat, he said. Joy? Okay, yes, so miss. Okay. All right, then good. All right, so these little things, because these are just basic IC questions. As the week progresses, we go into the more advanced questions. So you need to, you know, grasp these things. All right, carry now over to you. All right, so we're at number eight. Which of the following is the valid measurement unit of memory? Almost all of the above gigabyte, megabyte, kilobyte. Hardware can work without device driver, true or false? Um, definitely false. You need device driver for any hardware device that you're using, you need a software to read the device. All right, number 10 which of the following is not an operating system? Samsung, Samsung is a what? This is a phone. It's a brand. Yes, pretty much. So that's the obvious answer because nothing else, everything else is that always. All right. So I think this is the third set. We're on to the fourth set. Still on you, um, Karina. DVD is having more storage capacity than CD. True. True. CD can hold up to, I think, 700 and something uh, megabytes of information. And that's what, you know, like some persons use for music. DVD can hold up to like, I think, 4.37. I don't know if I'm getting the figures right, but you can do research to, 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 to verify. 4.37 or 4.7 gigabytes of information. All right, so tally is, I don't, you're probably seeing this word for the first time, but you're just going to do a quick research. What uh, is tally? And okay. I don't, I'm unsure. I am unsure if the meeting will last until you finish, you are finished. But whenever, if we are cut off, then you're going to just send the photograph of your and then I'm going to send the one. The tally is an ERP accounting software package. So it is an accounting um, software. All right, so tally is a closed open application or system software. Which one is it? Is it an closed? Closed software? All right, let's see what the answer is. Oh, no, it's an application software. Oh. Yeah, so we're learning something new today. Yes, yes. All right. All right. So VLSI is used in dash generation of computer. Fourth it, generation. Fourth generation. And what does VLSI stand for? Very large scale integration. Very large scale integration, and what's the meaning of that? Is the current level of computer. Mm -hmm. That's it? Yes, miss. Oh, it's the current level of computer. It basically has to do with um, more advanced circuit boards that are being used 
the type of transistor. So you're basically like, you know, talking about the inside of the computer, right? All right, so the answer is fourth, as you said before. Shakira, on to you. You hearing me clearly? Shakira? Yes. yes. All right, so where would you know? Uh, we're at number four. Dash interprets and executes sets of instructions. CPU, miss. CPU, that's the obvious answer. All right, number five, dash consists of instructions. None of them. Why would you say none? Well, probably program. Why would you say program? Miss Milano, because <laughs> let me just say. No, yes. no, no, no. You can't be guessing. You can't be guessing. You, you, just, you, you did something in your eye just the other day. Hard, hardware, basically. Stop uh, guessing. Stop, a guessing. Tangible. Stop guessing. All right. Look again. Dash consists of set of instructions, right? Yes, sir. When you think of program, what's the first thing that, that comes to your mind? instructions instructions right because when you are writing your your program what you yes. your codes are basically instructions that you yes, want to carry out so when you execute those instructions you're expecting a particular result don't it yes miss. and that is why the answer would be program right yes miss. all right good all right still on your number six Dash consists of a set of programs. Miss B? B? All right, mm -hmm. you can research what is VDU. This is a one visual display unit. Um, a computer monitor is an computer. All right, so it is talking about a computer monitor. So you still you still going to keep that answer? Hold on, let me see. Software, miss. Software and what's the definition that you're seeing for software? This is a program. It's a set of instructions, data, or programs to use to operate computers and execute specific tasks. All right, so we are on the right track now. All right, Joy, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. All right, so over to you now. Uh, these are giveaway questions. Paintbrush is a text editor. True or false? False. False. All right, let me check. It is false. I mean, it's paintbrush. You use it for designs on these things. All right, number eight. Notepad is a text editor. True or false? True. True? Yeah, pretty much. Right. All right. Keyboard convert typed. Convert type characters to dash code. Do you mean D, as in dog? Yes, miss. Binary. Hmm. No. Yeah, binary computer understand. Binary one thousand years. It's a computer understand like when we are typed to receive. When you're typing, the characters are converted to a particular code. 
You can do a quick research if you want, you know. Anything? Yes, and coming. Okay. No, it's done. Anything else? Any progress, Joy? No, me. No progress? No, me. Why? Miss Nabi. Oh, Miss, it converted to ASC. Aski. <laughs> yes, yes. The answer is B. All right. Um, number ten. Dash unit controls the operation of the CPU. A. A. What does ALU um does you? What does it do? What does ALU? Uh, what's the purpose of the ALU in the CPU? Miss Nuffer, um, do mathematical operation. All right, then. It carries out mathematical calculations. All right. So the question says, control the operation of the CPU. Do you think it would, the answer is the um, ALU? Central unit. Yes. Did you say central unit or control unit? Control unit. Sorry. Control unit. All right. So, yeah. So, we went through four sets of the, some basic IT questions. And don't be surprised, you may see them, but guys, you need to be studying. Um, do not underestimate the multiple choice questions that you'll be getting because they will cover every aspect of the, the syllabus. And they may put questions in there that may come off as confusing, but if you know your content really well, uh, you should be fine. We have seven minutes left um, in the class. Well, I started recording late, um, but we have seven minutes left. Uh, would you like for us to go through another set or are there any questions you wish to ask me in regards to computer science or something, anything? Anything guys? Let's, let's go through another set. Another set, all right. So I think it's just 10 questions per set. Oh, well, oh this one has five. All right, so it's five questions. All right, we're at number one. Which of the following is not the classification of computers based on application? None, means None, you're correct. Uh, which of the following is not a feature of third generation language, languages? 
they are faster than MLLS. They are faster than MLLS. What is MLLS? Yes, I don't know what it means. I thought you would research it. Mister, if you do, but then not give me no. You say mailing list, mailing list label system. Mailing list label system. Yes, miss. All right, let's see if that is the answer. So yes, that is correct. All right. So in the multiple choice questions, guys, you may see some. You may see some things that require general knowledge in IT, right? Because not everything will be fit. You'll probably find that five questions or so or more may be taken from general um, knowledge, like who or what type of, um, give, that, give an uh, example of a type of processor that would be Intel, uh, you may see them pulling questions from general IT knowledge. So it's not just content only, right? So you have to read wide and learn as much as you as you can. All right, so um, wish to, we're at number three. Wish is the type of memory for information that does not change on your computer. Type of memory that does not change. B. B? Yes, yes. B as in boy, let's see. What does the RW mean? Read, write. Read, write. And then you have a read only. Read, random access memory, sorry. All right, we're at number five. All right, so LSI, VLSI, and ULSI chips are used in which generation? We saw a similar question before. What's third that? generation, miss. Third generation? Yes, miss. All right, Shakira, do you agree? Shakira? Joy? Yes. Do you agree that it is third generation, number four? We came across a similar question. No. Hold on. What should you say? Yeah, you may say. You agree no. that it's third generation? No, no miss. All right, so what's your answer? Second. Second, second. all right, let's see. So it is third generation. All right, number five, Joy. Uh, which characteristics of computer distinguishes it from electronic calculation? C as in cat? All right, let's see. Oh, it's storage. The answer is storage. Yeah. All right, so yes, that is pretty much it for today. Please utilize the links that I sent you um, with the multiple choice questions and also remember all the content. Um, it's Still on, they're still on Schoology. I have not deleted anything because you know I would have um, uploaded notes and the links for tutorials and all of those things. So, guys, feel free to go back. I think the syllabus is there so you can go through the different topics in the syllabus 
and you can study based on that and you pace yourself and try to cover as much as you can. So I hope you remember your Schoology account. You can always utilize it um, at any point in time. Uh, what else should I tell you now? Yeah, that is pretty much it. Anything else before we go? We have a few seconds before the class ends. Anything else? Karina, Joy, anything else? Oh, yes. All right, so are you okay with the little session that we just had? Yes. yes. All right, so I hope you have learned much from it and you just continue practicing. All right, guys? Yes. yes. All right, so take care until. You too, me. All right, then.